you don't have to buy an expensive Apple HomeKit LED strip. You can build your own in a few easy steps. In this video, I will show you how to do this using just two main components. Let's get started. The only hardware components you need are, an LED strip, and an ESP32 microcontroller. The WS2812 LED strip comes with three wires, a 5 volt positive wire, a ground, and a data wire. I chose pin 26 of the microcontroller as my data line but you can use any output pin of your choice. You may use a 330 ohms resistor for your data line to reduce noise. If your LED strip has more than 15 pixels, you will require to use an external power source. I used an old USB phone charger to power my circuit. If this is your first time using the ESP32 microcontroller, don't worry, I will take you through the initial configuration process. We are going to use the Arduino software to program the microcontroller. If you don't already have this software, Go ahead and install it from the Arduino website. Now go to Espressif GitHub page. Check the video description for all the links used in this video. Under the Arduino ESP32 project, you will find this stable release link. Copy it and then open the Arduino app. Go to File and scroll down to Preferences. Paste the link in the Additional Boards Manager URLs and click OK. Next, we need to install the ESP32 core to the Arduino. Go to Tools and scroll down to Board then click on Boards Manager. Type ESP32 and click Install. The installation process may take a few minutes. The ESP32 board is now ready to be programmed using Arduino. We are going to use an example from a library called Homespan to control the LED strip using Apple's Home app. To install this library, go to Tools and click on Manage Libraries. Type Homespan and install this library. After you're done installing, close the Library Manager. Open the Pixel example which will be located in other examples of the Homespan library. We are only going to need the NeoPixel RGB part of the code. Delete the following part of the code. You need to specify the number of LEDs in your LED strip by adding the following line. My LED strip has 232 LEDs. Make sure this matches the pin connected to the green wire of the LED strip. That's the only change we need to make to this code. Connect your ESP32 board to your computer using a USB cable. Under Tools, select the board and port you're using. Open the serial monitor and set the following baud rate. Upload the code using the right facing arrow at the top left of your window.
If the upload was successful, you will see this on your serial monitor. Type capital W and press enter. You will see a list of Wi-Fi networks. Enter the number of your network and press enter. You will be prompted for your password. After you enter your password, the board connects to your Wi-Fi network. The final step is to connect the LED strip to Apple HomeKit. Open the Home app on your iPhone. Click on Add Accessory, then More Options. Select Pixel LEDs. Click on Add Anyway and enter the following code. Finish the configuration. You can now turn on your LED strip or change colors using Siri or the Home app. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.